Alright, alright, guys. So let's move on to the first parameter, source of frequency command. Okay. So this says how you want to control the frequency of your drive. That's the source of frequency. We have to choose the frequency. We have various options. The first option says master frequency determined by digital keypad. This means frequency can be determined by this keypad. This switches. This is increment. This is decrement. A little bit damage here, but anyways, this is a increment and that's a decrement. We can control the frequency by pressing the switches. Second says master frequency determined by 0 to 10 volt on AVI terminal. Okay, so AVI terminal is over here. So by supplying voltage of 0 to 10 volt, we can control the speed. Third says frequency determined by 4 to 20 milliampere on ACI. I have shown you in the last video where is ACI. So that's the voltage range. So and it says master frequency determined by 4 to 85 communication port. Now there is a communication port over there. Which I'll be showing you in the video. That's the wire which is connected to communication port. Okay. The last says master frequency determined by a potentiometer on digital keypad. So that frequency will be changed by this potentiometer. So right now this parameter is set. All right. And before sending setting this parameter, we need to mention maximum output frequency in our drive. We need to you know enter this one as well. So many times you don't know what are the parameters already fit into your VFD. So the first step which a programmer should do before entering the parameter is to reset all the parameters. What are the parameters which are already in the drive should be reset so that you will be aware of what parameters you are going to enter and what changes you are going to get. So to reset this parameter, you must always carry the manual of your drive. That's the manual of this drive. Okay, And in this manual, the reset parameters comes at parameter number 76 which says if you put 0, 0 in that all parameters can be set read this is by default okay if you put here reset all parameters to 50 hertz factory defaults for that you need to enter 0, 09 so we have to enter 0, 09 in parameter 76 which will reset all the parameters to factory settings this is the factory settings okay so this is the drive and i'm going to parameter 76 which i can go by pressing mode once this is parameter i'll increment to 76 okay then press enter this is the enter then go to 9 and press enter now that's the default parameters it's already set there so going back to frequency now let's move on to the first parameter which says source of frequency so this parameter is in the drive it's the first one parameter 0 0 Source of frequency 00, zero master frequency determined by digital keypad factory setting is zero, 00. So by default, it's zero, 00. So this is the slide master frequency by digital keypad. Now, right now it's 50. I can decrease that using this decrement commands. Okay. If I keep pressing it, it will decrement by you know, it will keep on decrementing. So when I press run now, motor is running, but frequency is zero, so that's why it stopped. The frequency you'll find motor will start run this is 6 hertz so I can increase using this increment and I can decrease using this decrement okay so that's the source of frequency by digital keypad increment and decrement stop okay so the next command says master frequency determined by 0 to 10 volt on AVI terminal that's the AVI terminal so let's switch over to this mode. So for that, parameter 00, zero we have to enter zero 01. Okay, so this parameter 00, zero. go back, enter zero 01. Press enter. Now, if you see frequencies right now 18.9 volts, it is not controlled by this one. This is getting frequency from AVI. If I go back here, this is your AVI, which is connected to channel 2, okay, 0 for DA. So my card is supplying some voltage to this drive, by which is it is forced to 18.9 hertz. So let's see how we can program the car and how we can change the frequency. In them. So for that, I need to open the PLC software, which is right over here. And in this PLC software, I'm going to configure my cards to work as voltage output. Okay, 
So it take a lot of time to open. And this voltage line will go to AVI and the ground. Okay, so that's the PLC. Go to new, select my PLC SS, press OK. All right, that's some network error. Anyways, so very quickly I'll go to my analog card module. My card is D2A, which is connected to slot 2. Okay, and this explanation of card is already there in the course, PLC course, you can find out there. So, output mode settings, I'm going to have mode settings of 0 to 10 volt to the output. So, this is 0 to 10. This is the condition at which I want this mode to be on. M1000 means the mode will be always on. Add to list. Then, channel 2, output value, write resistor M1000. Set value 0. 0 means it will output 0 millivolts. If I put here 4000, it will output 10 millivolts. So, let's see by default 1000. Add to list. Press OK. And okay. Now this is the code which is going which will go to my card once I download this one. Online. Yes. Now this program has been downloaded and if you notice the frequency changed to 12.6 hertz because this 1000 means I am giving 2.5 volts. So if you want to make a note here this says yeah that's here when your analog card bits is 0 voltage is 0 volt frequency is 0 hertz if bits are 1000 voltage is 2.5 volts frequency is 12.5 volts and so on at 4000 10 volts 50 hertz so let me make a variable here instead of this constant so we have taken a variable d0 here which says source of frequency right now it's k0 okay so to show you how does it vary let me show you the camera there all right now i have k0 and that now k0 indicates output is 0 volts so frequency is 0 hertz so if i change that if i put the value k1000 you will find frequency changes to 12.6 hertz okay so if i put the value 2000 frequency will change to 25 hertz because this is 5 volts so similarly if you put 4000 frequency will change to 50 hertz okay so let's roll back to 500 that will be 6.3 hertz now if i start the drive from here the drive will start running okay and frequency of motor will change now in the real time right now it's 500 if i put 1000 it will change to 12.6 hertz okay and I can stop the drive so that was about changing the frequency by AVI terminals okay by 0 to 10 volt at AVI terminals so let's go back to slide so this was on AVI terminal then you have master frequency determined by 4 to 20 milliampere on ACI terminal now similarly we have ACI terminal in our drive so let's see the diagram for that so for ACI what we have to do is we just have to connect this AVI to ACI and then we have to switch our VI terminal to V plus terminal to VI plus terminal because this I plus will give 4 to 20 milliampere based on the same rating this rating you can see here 0 to 4000 is the range of analog bits we are getting 0 to 10 volts in the same range by changing the wire you will get 4 to 20 milliamperes so we just have to change the voltage mode to 4 to 20 milliampere in the programming and just by changing the same bits of the 0 to 4000 you can change the frequency so that's quite similar okay so I'll I'll jump to the next board which says source of frequency determined by 485 communication board now this is very important this is modbus control and for that I have already made a video in which I have explained how we can change the operation and the speed by modbus that you can see in the Modbus video link and the YouTube for that you will find the description in the description of this video you'll find that link how to change the frequency by 485 communication port or you can search in our channel and find that okay for that it's already there so I'm going to skip this one as of now last parameter says master frequency determined by potentiometer on digital keypad okay so for that we will change the parameter of 00 to 04 okay so here I'm going to change mode this is zero zero 
Put into put four. Okay, press enter again. Now when I go back, this is the frequency. Now this frequency can be changed by this potentiometer. Okay. Frequency can be increased and it can be decreased. Okay, from the now it's not taking frequency from the card, not from this buttons, not from the current, but just from this potentiometer. So that's how you can change the frequency. We have five modes. One is frequency determined by digital keypad on the keypad. So I'll take a review from here. This one. First one was from the keypad, increment and decrement, changing the speed. Then second was from AVI terminal, 0 to 10 volts. Third one, third one was, uh, you know, ACI terminal, analog current input, 4 to 20 milliampere, which is quite similar to AVI. Just you need to change the source to current. Then is for 485 communication mode. For that, the video is already there. You can see that. The last one was potentiometer on digital keypad. I mean, the port you can read the speed. So that was all about source of frequency commands in the drive. Thank you.